He's often referred to as the hardcore legend, a name I also went by in certain films I made in Mexico back in the 90s. But this former heavyweight champion recently took his writing talent to the world of comic books in a limited four-issue series called RPM. It's about a direct descendant of Paul Revere who's hired to move a priceless package from Boston to Miami. What? Been there, my friend. Mick Foley's been here with us all night. So let's ask him about this new project. First, I want to ask you about something different. I heard there's a movie about your life in the works. Is that true? There is, indeed, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Union Square Media is putting something together with uh, Jeff Katz, who uh, produced uh, Wolverine and Snakes on a Plane and Freddy vs. Jason. And so uh, they see uh, you know, a slightly uh, more upbeat Wrestler. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. It won't be like the wrestler movie <laughs> where it won't be yeah. like the wrestler. That was kind of depressing. It's gonna garner similar similar nominations. Yeah. So I'm sure. The, the what's her face? The stripper lady was hot in that Marissa movie. Tomei. Oh my yeah. god. She has Look, a propensity for getting nude in her films. She certainly and I does. Bill. Yes. Um who's gonna play you? I was thinking either a Johnny Depp or a Will Smith or maybe the girl from Precious. We <laughs> 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 We've been bombarded. <laughs> Bruce Wayne would play. Yeah. No, but it'd be one of those things where are oh, you gonna play yourself? Well, you know, I mean that's been thrown in there, but I'd have to drop a lot of weight, and I'm not sure there's any price tag that's gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no, I, I, you know what? They've, they've got some interesting uh, inquiries out there. Like Wa who? Joaquin Phoenix was. Uh, oh, that's one guy. He you know? needs he needs a new, he needs a role like that. He does because he's got after what happened. Because he already had the weird beard, and now yes, he, he just has to keep it for a while. Yeah, Can right. I point out that? We had what might be a scene for the movie right here when your sound guy came over. You guys can all vouch yeah, for me. Yeah. He was having some trouble getting the earpiece on. I that's finally had to right. tell him, ah, <clears throat> I don't have an ear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's gone so, buddy. Yeah, yeah. So let's go with the left you ear. Have, uh, I mean, do you have part of an ear? What? Do you have part of an ear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I do, yeah. I, I, fell into that. I mean, I do. I, do I mean, I'm looking at it. I only yeah. see half an ear. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Had to give up my dream of being a carpenter because the pencil. Keeps falling. Yeah. <laughs> I think the larger tragedy was that you wanted to be an ear model. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out either. But we won't bring that up because that brings you down and the whole interview will go to hell. Uh, let's talk about your comic. What's sure. the inspiration for this? Uh, you know what? I had written uh, some other books, uh, uh, memoirs. I've got a memoir out now, mm -hmm. my, my fourth, by the way. <laughs> Four uh, puts me one up on <laughs> Churchill. Yeah. Uh, and now I know why Kissinger stopped at three. Yeah. <laughs> Four may have been one too many, but I would I would go to these uh, comic conventions and I would see people over the course of a few days uh, who were all into reading and none of them would have uh, either of the novels I wrote. So mm -hmm. turns out I like telling stories, but maybe I wasn't telling them in a forum that people were you know agreeable to. So uh, I had a friend Shane Riches who had some uh, history in that genre and uh, he convinced me I should try to tell a story in a different way. What uh, what is it? So did I explain it correctly? It's the yeah. descendant of Paul Revere. Yeah. Is there a character like you in this? You know, there is a guy who bears a striking resemblance, and that was my suggestion, just to have somebody. I believe on the last page, I think we're at the bonus material yeah. there. But I believe uh, Dominic here, he looks kind of eerie. Look at that. Oh, wait, wait, there's a better picture of Dominic. Oh, there he is. Look at that. That's nasty, right? Yeah. Wow. That's oh, yeah, downright. that's you are. Do I have it the right way? That's yeah. downright nasty. If, see, if I, if I had a character in a comic book, I would make that character have sex with lots of women. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Just because. <laughs> so, just and why, why limit yourself to women? I, I, listen, I, I'm used to writing memoirs which have to be honest. So yeah. uh, uh, maybe that would be a nice release. This is the first time I've actually had like a, a real love interest and done action adventure. Where can people get this? Uh, anywhere that comic books are sold. I believe, I believe they can also go to 12gauge.com uh, mm -hmm. or something like I'm that. I'm a direct descendant of William Doss. He wrote with Paul Revere. My family hates Paul Revere because William Dawes got further and Revere got all the press. That's right. It was that Longfellow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he had his own publicist. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, Revere's yeah. easier to rhyme than Dawes. But my name is William Dawes Schultz. I was born on the 200th anniversary. Me. God, way to eat yeah, up this yeah, interview, yeah. Bill. Sorry. Hey, uh, I could have been a consultant. Did you write your, your memoirs in longhand? I did, yeah. 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 You don't I, like computers? I, well, I only learned about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I was having some trouble. They had a, uh, a ghostwriter who was supposed to do it, and I thought he was telling kind of a bland story. So mm -hmm. I went up into the upper deck of the Tallahassee Civic Center, and I just started writing by hand. And when I went downstairs into the locker room, I asked a few of the guys if they wanted to listen to what I'd written. And they were, like, kind of cringing and laughing. <laughs> and they were doing all the things that I've come to expect out of wrestling audiences, yeah. but I wasn't getting hurt. 
Yep. So I thought, hey, this could be an extension to my career here. Better to wrestle with the written word than your fellow man. <laughs> Wilson! Wow. Now push up your imaginary and glasses. I, uh, yeah. I'm consulting <laughs> a certain Julius Assange. <laughs> uh, yeah. An orange juice of the semicolon. <laughs> yes, dude, the, whole, the, entire car, the entire comic book in email. <laughs> All right. Uh, the name of Mick Foley's new comic book series is called RPM. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, more crap. Good stuff, I mean. And now something we've all been waiting for, the Kardashian Christmas card. Behold. Yeah. Mm. This just screams happy holidays, doesn't it? Who looks best in the photo? Kim, Chloe, Marsha? That strange creature on the floor from Twin Peaks? <laughs> I didn't know they adopted it. I don't know. It sort of completes the All right, whole... the only reason why I brought this up, uh, it's, uh, it's, I hate, you can take it away now. No, I want to keep looking. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing I don't like about these pictures. Do you get this, do you, do you okay, first of all, do you do family, do you do the family Christmas card? Do you do that? Oh, you do? No, I, 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 I have, I'm not sending any Christmas cards yeah. uh, this year. Yeah, neither I just one. haven't gotten around to it. I've always yeah, wanted so. to rent a fake family okay. and do that. Like, you know, I have like the nice little skinny tie with a sweater and a pipe and just either a ghoulish brood or a really like 1950s What class. about you should get your four illegitimate children? Oh, I don't even know where they live. I know. And thank God they don't have my that's, phone number. That's Money saved. Spirit. But you know what, what I noticed Can is I? like five years ago. What are you going to show? No, keep talking. Okay. I'm going to show you a little bit. Like five years ago, you would get the, uh, the, um, the letters that would say like, Tommy's doing great in college. Billy's working. <laughs> my mom does But then that. the recession hit. <laughs> You don't get those anymore no. because Tommy's unemployed. Mm. Billy's got a heroin habit. Why Jilly's gotta use knocked Bill? up with Wait. Bill's half-diseased child. <laughs> half-diseased? Yeah. But the other half of him's awesome. The other half, is, the other half. The other half of Bill is doing fine. Do you, Tom, you're very silent right now. Look, we do send out a Christmas card, but the thing, the thing that annoys me is when you just send out the heads of the children, they don't put the parents in. Like, parents don't want to get in the photo. Yeah. And then you just get, we have the, our, our walls lined with pictures of children. I don't know who they are. Because, yeah. 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 <laughs> I thought you meant they actually send you the heads of their children, which is just really disgusting. Guess we're going to have to make another one. Yeah. Wink. Hey, Greg, yeah. how close can we zoom into this picture? Yeah, right, go for can it. Can we see that? Can you do that? Yeah. All right. There's, uh, there's Aww, child one, okay, on Santa's lap. Yeah, okay, now nice. watch. I'm going to replace it with child two. That's a good two. Santa. That looks like a real weird child real beard. Child two. Wow. Right wow. before the tears start to fall. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I love Santa? it, man. No, no. <laughs> Is that another meatloaf yeah. song you just quoted? <laughs> <laughs> you know what the new trend Jim Steinman is? lyric, yeah. It's a new trend, actually. Because I have a dog, and I'm sort of obsessed with the dog, as yeah. all my readers know. But the new trend is to take pictures of the dog dressed up in a Santa suit. You know, I can't tell you how many of these I've got. You guys haven't gotten these, and I just have weird friends. But I've gotten pictures <laughs> of dogs dressed up with cats, and that's the Christmas photo. No that's kids? No parents, just pets. That's twisted. Yeah, I, I want someone to send me a picture of Santa dressed up like a dog, and the sexier the better. <laughs> you know, the I first know, person that sends me that with some sort of special. Bill, I know I a cry. guy that looks like Santa who will dress up like a dog for you. Done and done, and I'm talking leash the whole deal. <laughs> how, do you dress, how, do you, how do you dress like a dog? They it's don't really, have clothes on. Have you ever been to a fetish store? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Just hairy outfits galore, yeah. my friend. Hairs. And leash, leash, and more leash. You know, for, muzzle optional, but preferred. <laughs> for, a guy, you know, for a guy who's done lubricant ads, you certainly live a sheltered life. Yes. <laughs> don't limit it with the lubricant. Go fall on with the dog paraphernalia. <laughs> exactly. All right. I think we got to move on before it gets really sad. We're going to close things out with the post-game wrap-up from TV's Andy Levy. To see clips of recent shows, go to foxnews.com slash red eye. So you can see me on the O'Reilly Factor uh, Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And Bill will be on America's Nightly Scoreboard at 7 p.m. Eastern. I kind of wish you were nailed on a real scoreboard. Mm. That would really be good. All right. Write in and say no to that, viewers. That's on the Fox Business Network. And I'll be on the Willis Report. Uh, back to TV's Andy Levy for the postgame wrap-up. Thanks, Greg. Hey, Tom, first of all, nice job pretending you don't know how you dress up like a dog. <laughs> I, I mean, I still how do you know. Dr how do you dress up like a dog? <laughs> that was just that was just hideous. Dog play? Never heard of it. Uh, hey, what what you reading these days? I uh, just read Greg Fitzsimmons, Dear Mrs. Fitzsimmons. Have you read the book? It's so funny. No. Greg You're plugging some somebody else's work, not well, your own. I read your book too. Oh, good. Greg Gutfeld. <laughs> uh -huh. I got it on my Kindle. Good, good book. Did you think I was going to say your book when I said Greg? I kind of hurt my feelings. Greg Fitzsimmons, a really funny book. I, I just read it today, and I think it's great. Can I recommend a little something <laughs> for you all? Really? Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. Something that fits conveniently yep. to a stocking. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
It stock would fit into a stock. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. do have a little bit. Put it in a Great PO Christmas box. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, bad. Mick. Mick. Also, what about your? Uh, what is it? Countdown to lockdown. Countdown to lockdown. The memoir, and I should probably point out that I appear on a show called Impact every Thursday on Spike at 9 p.m. So Excellent. I don't get fired. Hey, and what's what's Rain? Rain is a group I volunteer with, uh, and I and I donated uh, half the proceeds from uh, Countdown uh, from. Uh, Countdown to Lockdown, it stands for Rape, Abuse, Incest, National Network. And all joking aside, if someone out there has been assaulted or knows someone who has, they can either go to rain.org, R-A-I-N-N, -N, or uh, the 800 number is 1-800-656-HOPE. So cool. thank you for mentioning. I appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bill, don't make a joke. I no, thought you were going to say I met those girls I, when I, could I first met I could just move on. I could just move on to Jedi. I could just move on to Jedediah right now. All right. Hey, Jedediah, what should people do uh, first thing when they get up this morning? First thing, you should go to JedediahBila.com. New column out today. And I will also be on the Willis Report uh, today and Barney and Company on Monday. Excellent. Mm, we love that stuff. The price is awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Bill, anything stupid you want to plug? Uh, the Pete Dominic show every day oh, at 3 o'clock. Really? God, Jesus. <laughs> what? My brother just got a new job. Holy cow. He'll be on the show sometime, too. Did you just suddenly turn Italian? Hey! <laughs> my brother! Mario! He didn't stop by making the meatball, and now he is on the radio. Come on! I'm, le I'm leaving, Greg. It's up to you to finish uh, this. All right, I'll see you, I'll see you later. Bye, Andy. Jedediah, great. Bill, you, hey. I hate you. Tom really awesome. Mick Foley, hey. great job. I'm Greg Gutfeld. I'll see you later. Tomorrow, I think. Bye-bye. <laughs>